local economy to benefit from major film festival to be held here next year. It will create a platform for young persons who are producing movies here. It also will encourage persons to come to Grenada and have an experience. Details of this and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Major benefits expected for Grenada's economy and, by extension, the tourism industry with the launch of the Grenada Global Film Festival. The festival, which will be held from May 19th to the 24th, 2017, is designed to bring films to Grenada that would otherwise not be shown here due to lack of opportunity to view them. During the week-long festival, about 12 films will be shown at various locations on big screens and a 40-foot inflatable screen which will be erected at the Montrouge playing field. The festival has been organized by the members that will make up the Grenada Film Commission. Senior advisor Charles Bola says the purpose of the festival is to expose film to the international community and many on the international scene are already interested. He expects major benefits for Grenada's economy and tourism. It's a very special place here and the world doesn't know very much about it yet, we find. And I'm stunned, I don't know why. So we want to bring in more tourism. It helps the local economy, hotels, restaurants, car and truck rentals, again, local makeup artists, local production houses, people who want to be in the business. Culture Minister Senator Brenda Hood hopes the festival will open people's eyes to the possibilities in the film industry. Overall, we see it as one way, another avenue in terms of getting Grenadians involved in the industry because as you may be aware or not be aware, the film industry is a multi-billion dollar industry and if us here in Grenada can get a percentage of that to start off with, it will make a big difference. Two days of workshops and training will be provided by skilled professionals in the business during the festival, which has also been supported by Disney. The community of Blaze in St. Andrew now has its own reliable water supply. It boasts of having Grenada's first community-based rainwater harvesting system. We have a report from Chrysal Benjamin Jerome, the communications assistant at the National Water and Sewage Authority. Minister Gregory Bowen, who is tasked with the responsibility for public utilities, underscored the significance of the project. No more will the residents of Blaze depend on a fortnightly supply of Nawasa's water tankers. No longer shall we hear repeated calls for a pipe network that is comparable to other communities within the trial and state. Parliamentary representative for the area, Minister Roland Bola, hailed this achievement as a watershed moment in Grenada's history. I took it upon myself as a challenge to ensure that if there's only one thing I can do for this community in my lifetime as a politician, is to try to ensure that they do get an adequate supply, a reliable supply of good drinking water. Now, Asa, through its general manager, Mr. Christopher Husbands, proposed this project more than three years ago with GIZ answering the call. I can tell you there had been a number of occasions when the MP and myself, with a team of persons, have been hiking different parts of here looking for a water source. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The Aedes aegypti mosquito spreads the dengue, chikungunya and Zika viruses. It only needs a small amount of water to breed. Check for stagnant water regularly. Buckets including the rim should be drained and kept dried. Avoid using flower pot plates, but if you do, ensure they're emptied every two days. Get rid of water that settles in potted plants. Dish rack trees should be emptied daily. As part of its mandate to address youth unemployment in the country, the Market Access and Rural Enterprise Development Program, MAREP, hosted its first job fair at the National Stadium on Thursday. It seeks to provide an avenue through which recently trained and certified youth can become job ready as well as find employment. More than 130 young people attended the event. Coordinator of the day's activity is Ms. Asha Julian. We have a number of businesses have committed to 
come here and operate booths where these young persons can present themselves, market themselves, present their CVs, um, have interview sessions, and possibly find employment. The event featured presentations on the fundamentals of starting a business, fundamentals of finding a job, funding, and available opportunities. Representatives from different business organizations were on hand to conduct interviews and to possibly employ some of the young participants. The Willie Redhead Foundation is pressing for legislation to stem the practice of littering in the country, especially in the town of St. George. President Tim Byam, who was among the many involved in last weekend's cleanup campaign, says steps must be taken to halt the ugly practice. He is stunned by the amount of garbage found behind Andal and Associates close to the cruise ship terminal in the city. It is really, really shocking and ridiculous, the amount of garbage that is lodged in between the rocks. So we have to, um, and look at the the, the amount of KFC, KFC boxes and stuff that you know that people come and they eat and they just um, throw the um, the garbage in the rocks which and, and of course it can become a breeding ground for for rats and you know and so on so so we have to be we have to look and we have to be more proactive with the garbage collection Byam says nationals need to be sensitized about the importance of caring for the environment we have to start bringing awareness to the public at large to all Grenadians um, that it is our country it's our pride and joy it's our gold and we, we we have to look after our environment. And that's the National Report. I am Rikisha St. Louis. Thank you for joining us.